downloads directory. So I'm just going to take one that I did recently and we'll do a, actually I did number 135 already. So open it and it'll ask me where I want to extract it to. So I'm going to extract it to my computer because I want to have a copy of it for future reference. Uh, so I don't have to keep running when uh, photo booth, uh, darkroom uh, booth all the time. So put it into my documents and I have a projects folder, photo booths for all, uh, photo booth template resources. Now I already have it undone, but basically what will happen is you'll unzip it and you'll get a ping file, uh, PSD file, this text file, which is going to be important. I'll show you that in a second. Your background, your overlay. So these are basically what you'd use to start with if you don't want to do any manipulation. So basically what you'll then do is go into your darkroom booth. I'm using version one, so forgive me, I haven't updated this on my computer yet here. Um, basically, you're going to go in and create, I'll do a new event. Uh, we're going to do uh, four photos because that's the layout. It's horizontal. It's going to be a four by six, one copy, and we're going to choose a layout. Now we're going to go and create a new one, and I'm going to call this template 135. And it's going to be horizontal four by six, 300 dpi, everything else is good. So we're going to move this over a little bit so you can see everything. So you're going to go ahead and add your artwork. And here in 135, you'll see here's the full layout. Here is your background. So you can simply add it in. Now, to me, I notice it doesn't quite fit. So I just go in, change the size, make that 1800, change that to zero. And boom, now we're full screen. Now, what it doesn't have, it doesn't have any of the images in here. So go ahead and, and add photo. Actually, I'm going to make it easier for myself. I'm just going to add a single photo. And now here in your text file, it tells you what your Im image parameter should be. So I want a 347.117 is your position. So go into position and size. Oh, you can't see it on the screen here. So 347 and 117. That's your X and Y. So 347.117. And then height and width, 669 and 469, 669, 469, and boom, there you are. Not quite positioned right because I changed the size of this, but it fits close enough. Then I'm going to copy it and paste it and make another copy, put it right over here. Go in and change that to photo 2. And then copy them both didn't quite take it. Okay, never mind. So I'll just do them one at a time and copy that over and bring that over here as well. And obviously you want to change the names. I'm going to end up with the same photo more than once. That's three. And that's four. And then you can tweak it if you want to use any of the features here to align it, make them the same. And just for the sake of making this easier than I have not working, this is the last part of the overlay. And that's titled overlay. Very simple. And you'll notice again, a little bit off, so you want to drag it and position it just so you get the cutoff set up properly. And then you can go in and add whatever other elements you want. You want to add an event date, you want to add some other information in here. Um, that's just the way this layout looks. And um, basically save it. Template 153. It is now in my library right here, so I could go ahead and choose it. And now I've got it set for my new event. Uh, thanks very much. Bye.